A community theater in Little Rock says they were unjustly denied after receiving multiple rejections for a federal grant program. Jessica Rank joins us live from the studio theater tonight. And Jessica, this theater is one of nearly 4,000 in the country fighting for money they say was denied. Yeah, Laura, and the studio theater here says they met all of the requirements needed for the grant. Now they're finding out similar theaters were awarded that money, and they say they're left with questions and very few answers. I know that Midsummer Night's Dream was a really well-received production. Inside the doors of studio theater, a wall dedicated to plays past. But in the last years, 2020 would be actually few posters were hung. 2020, 2021, we were not prepared for this. Live theater went dark in March of 2020, and today their owners still trying to bounce back. We took on a great deal of debt because our bills kept going. In April of 2021, the Small Business Association opened up applications for its Shutter Venue Operators Grant Program with $16 billion to give. We are who this grant was um, and was created to help. Theater treasurer Amanda Kennedy says they were a shoe in So when she received this email from the SBA, the denial was a complete shock. Months later, Kennedy is still searching for answers. There are other nonprofit community theaters identical to us in all material respects um, that were funded. Kennedy says the studio theater appealed their denial. That too was rejected. It also makes the entire process feel um, like, frankly, like a really um, more the luck of the draw um, than the letter of the law. Kennedy reached out to the SBA who gave her this response citing non-paid performers as the reason for the rejection. But according to these SBA guidelines, nonprofits are exempt. We were just um, unjustly denied. Theater leaders say it was supposed to be a turning point. It is a really critical opportunity for us to take this organization to the next phase. Now left again with uncertainty and even more questions. Now the theater here says they still have to assess a few things, but they say a lawsuit at this point is not off the table. We did reach out to the SBA for comment on this and have not heard back. Of course, we'll stay up to date on this story, and you can check for updates on our website, kark.com. Live in downtown Little Rock, I'm Jessica Rank. Back to you.